Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Terraria. So, things are gonna get interesting. Since I've got a full set of armor now, what else can I really do? Well, the answer is, get some crap. And I think what I'm gonna need are some of the higher tier items. So I'm not sure which ones I'm going to really want or need. Perhaps I could focus on getting a... Well, that was a total failure. But I could perhaps focus on getting a Rod of Discord. Something which I would imagine is going to help. <coughs> and a few things. Now I shouldn't really use this, it's not the greatest weapon. So what can these go into? My aim. What is it? Oh another game. Why thank you. So, still getting used to the hoverboard here, really. What am I trying to achieve? So just saying related, in case I die, I want this on my main bar. Just check that. So what do light shards go into, Mr. Guide? Because I do not actually know. This is the first time I've gotten so far, of course. Dao of Pow. Well. Not really bothered. Now, I think what I should do, as of the immediate moment, I think the most important thing I do is get a truffle worm and fight Duke Fish one again. Use the bug net, go and get one. And, well, the most interesting thing I could do... ...is in this biome, where, where the ever so fabled Truffle worm may live. I'm gonna want to catch more than one, possibly, since Duke Fish one is pretty bloody tough. Especially for, you know, someone like me. I'm a pretty scrubby in my honesty. No. But it doesn't look like there's one more guy. Which is a bit gutting, to be honest, but... Well, that works. That works a treat, as always. Yeah, I think I'll try and take the fish on it with certain other things, just in case I want it. No truffle worm, oh boy. I 
I really do want one to turn out, but it doesn't look like today is the day. And so, how much bait power do you have? 15. Mm, it's not great over the regular snail, but... Still not stupidly high, is it? Ow. You just enjoy your death. So I'm just gonna retreat back off wherever I should go. What I do think I might need is a rod of discord, but I don't really know how much those are. Where to find them actually is a good point. Oh wait, not up here, but either way, let's see. I should probably I would assume because teleportation against the Moon Lord is gonna be Rather useful thing. Actually, I should probably reforge the violent hoverboard. The menacing moon shell is good. The warding obsidian shield is good. These warding are very good. So, Mr. Goblin. Well, if you say so. Violent hoverboard. Let's see. 19 gold. I've got a bit of platinum. Let's go for it. Well, that works! <laughs> Damn, that's lovely. Got it on the first try, menacing. Menacing is good enough for me. Warding may help get up to former very tough levels. Actually, I should get a bow of some sort. The Phantasm. And I could make an endless quiver right now, actually, I think. Hey, wizard, give me a crystal ball. How much does this cost? This 10? Good. Because I'm going to be using it. Now, I do prefer to be a gunslinger. But, you know, there's a certain item that could be a rather useful... So let's just give. Magic powers. Well, it's not really that interested in magic, but... If you say so. So, I think the Endless Cover is an accessory, though. But, it's made with full stack. Uh, you know, this. Four of them. In other words, 3,996 arrows go into an endless quiver. Which, in case you didn't know, is quite a damn lot. And that meant the arrows also... If it's an accessory, I am going to have to, of course, replace something. And look, endless quiver. Nine ranged damage. Look at that critical strike chance as well. But this is because of my armor. So I currently have no arrows on me. I am not sure what I'm going to need for the Phantasm. I think it was Vortex. And I would have placed these in chests. So light where are the fragments? Because I've got some solar fragments here. But no other fragments. Let's just take this a second and let's see. Yeah, I can just have it in my inventory and it'll work. Which is pretty much what I need. So I'll put this back in here. It's not a very good weapon anyway, that one. And well, how do I see? We should sell the steampunker wings. So, how much would these go for? 28 gold? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll have that. Let's put... I need to get a dedicated chest for gold. But I haven't got any chests because I'm a peasant. So... There's all this and all this and what. These are the things I want. Stardust fragments. Solar eruption. Stardust makes these. Fuck, I didn't. Well, okay. I guess I just made those into that. Unintentionally, of course. So that can just go in here and never have happened. 
It's not, it's the Vortex Fragments, I believe, because the Vortex ones are the ones that make ranged weapons. Let's go and put the Souls of Light in here, because I'm not going to use them. And add some Souls of Flight in here. Damn it! Some d -nades. Put these in here as well. Stardust Fragments effectively got wasted. Oh, I don't have enough, do I? And what is the remaining towers on the map? Vortex? Yep, Vortex is the second one there. And I am not willing to fight the Moon Lord again. So just how many do I need? Because I'm not going to scavenge if it's a massive amount. I just want to confirm. See, I do need Luminite Bars for this. Vortex. Everything. So I've got a Vortex Beta already. A Phantasm would work very well here as well. Chance to not consume ammo. 66? Ooh. Doesn't really matter though. But yeah, I need 18 of those. Ooh. The thing is, I might actually just want to aim to get a Shroomite Helm of the other type as well. Just so I can get the helmet for arrows. Because otherwise it could be a little pointless to have. The gun set up is using a bow mainly. It would be a bit weird. And a bit stupid. So either way, I'll probably gather up some things. So, it's just mainly a whole bunch of mushrooms that I need. I get a few. And to be honest, I am gonna rush through the first biome, or first thing. Let's prepare for that from the music, is it? Ooh. Fuck off. No, go away. I do not need this. Still, going... I want to die relatively little in doing this. Now, the Vortex Beta is going to have a lovely amount of damage. Which is at its most stupid when I'm not moving. I can't remember what the enemies of the Vortex Pillar are. Well, that was pretty intense, wasn't it? Vampire knives would have been a great weapon for this. <laughs> and I cannot tell you how much I wish I had some, but... Gonna deal with it. Let's heal a little bit up here, just in case I do get attacked by something. So, that was pretty intense. Right off the bat, I should have had you summoned, 
because he would just help annihilate them. Especially these guys, because they're more numerous than the other towers, I feel like. At least the, the weaker enemies, the weaker versions of enemies in the tower. They feel weaker from this tower. Not sure if that's intended or not, but either way, I should have a phantasm by the end of this episode, at very least, it seems. So, looks like I got enough health. Time to let. gonna kill a lot of things. That was a little bit easier with the minion. Let's see how Phantasm goes, is it? Agile Phantasm. Well, isn't that lovely? So, ranged damage, a lot. Critical strike chance, a bloody lot. Speed is even higher. And well, let's see. This is what this thing looks like. I can't remember if it's going to have any particular effect. But yeah, I think I've got a phantasm now. It's just I need to get a few other items. The vortex fragments. So, it's time to put those in the chest. So, if I take an arrow set up, I'd have more damage with this than that. But both of them are going to deal pretty nice damage. This also has a higher crit strike chance. But, to be honest, that's because of the modifier, Agile. Oh yeah, you go temporarily. Let's just see. Can I find an enemy that is quite tough? Okay. Not tough enough. So, arrows after that basically become super arrows. And also, let's see, are there any other shadow orbs down here? Because I could use this against the. You know what? Let's end this episode very, very nicely here. Not sure. A horrible chill. Mine only for this one. Screams echo around you, not really bothered. Just wipe the surface a bit quickly. Hey, Eater of Worlds, mister. 
Poi vedi. Red Rear Arrow is only going to be cut in the air. He hasn't got the health for his own moves to enable the special effect either. Death Rex. But yeah, if you keep hitting them, it apparently gets very, very powerful. As I've just seen there, it's still very good anyway, at least against the pre hard mode boss. Maybe I could use it against the wall flesh. He'd be a nice target for it, wouldn't he? Either way, let's get back here. Didn't pick up even half the loot, because, you know, I'm an idiot like that. Inept, uh, don't need that, 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 or just about everything I just picked up. Light charge, not needed. Don't need that, or the Edmund Stone, or anything, really. Either way, I should get the setup for the arrows next time. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Either way, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. And we'll go on the mission next time to get some stuff done. Bye for now.